Hi guys, it's Carvin. So, um, first of all, straighten up here. Um, I want to talk about different uh, denominations that have been confused with each other. So, first of all, I'm going to start with the one that's um, a lot of people don't really hear about a lot, but when they do see them, they get confused. Alright, so, um, there's the Unity Church, the United Church of Christ Church, and then Unitarian Universalism, and also Unitarian Christianity. And there's also a Christian Universalist. So, all of these things all have, like, Unity... United, all this other stuff in it. So people confuse them a lot, and I thought I'd help help with that a little bit. Um, so the Unity Church originally came out of the New Thought um, uh, belief system, and so they believe in. Um, they're, they're kind of a Christian denomination, but it's more like a, uh, more, uh, New Age kind of tradition, and they pretty much think that there's, you know, God, and God is a spirit, and you're a part of it, and you try to become like Jesus and there's a lot of other stuff in there about like meditation and prayer so they're really cool they're um there's some things I disagree about but other than that that's um kind of an overview of what unity is so I guess you'd say a new age version of Christianity that's similar to new thought came from new thought um, and then there's the United Church of Christ, which is actually a, a stereotypical uh, Christian de denomination that's a, a more liberal. Um, they're liberal in a lot of things, like when it comes to like social issues. Um, one of the things that I love that they say is is called the God is Still Speaking campaign where um, it says don't put a period where God put a comma and I love that statement because it, um, it proves that like God's still talking to us even after like the Bible and stuff um, and they United Church of Christ came from originally uh, the Lutheran tradition but now it's a lot um, definitely more liberal, closer to Unitarian Christianity than a lot of people would think. Um, and I go to a service um, whenever I don't have work in the evenings. And then I go to the, the Unitarian Universalist Church service in the morning, and they're in the same building. Um, Unitarian Universalism. Okay, so originally... Um, there was the Christian Universalist, so, like there's the Universalist Association in America, and then there was the um, Unitarian Association in America, and I think it was around the 60s is when they merged into the Unitarian Universalist. Um, the Unitarians were are a Christian denomination. Still, there's some places. In um, in other countries that have um, Unitarian Christianity, like in the UK and places like that. Um, so pretty much the Unitarians, they believe in uh, um. God as a singular, and so they reject the doctrine doctrine of the Trinity. 
and uh, they moved away from Calvinism and the, of the Congregationalists. So they originally came from the Congregational, like new, the Universalists came from uh, from Puritans. So uh, both the Unitarians and Universal Universalists came from the Pilgrims. Um, and became more and more liberal uh, group from that. Um, the Universalists, they most of them are considered at the beginning Christians and that decided that felt that um, Jesus dying on the cross and saving the sins is all people, and that no one should. Well, everybody should be reconciled with God eventually. So, meaning that um, there may be purgatory or time in hell, but eventually everybody's going to be reunited with God. So that's pretty much the universalist belief. Where, well, nowadays there's some people that don't believe in hell, which, from what I gathered from the unity denomination, they don't believe in a literal hell. Um. So, like I said, um, these are just like some information about each thing because a lot of people get them confused and there are a lot of differences in each one. Um, even though they are considered more liberal versions of Christianity or interfaith or whatever, um, they are very different and what, like, kind of where they came from, what they've their belief systems are and where they are on the um, belief system spectrum some like the United Church of Christ is actually more conservative per se and then unity or unitarian universalism um, and like I said they all have their great attributes and um, somewhat different att attributes in my opinion um, <clears throat> but anyway, I just wanted to talk about um, all of the different things about Christianity that people don't know about different denominations, how they came to be, um, and a little bit about American culture, that religious culture, and how it developed. I personally sometimes wish that they, we still had a Unitarian Christian denomination in America because I consider myself a Unitarian Christian, but there's not a lot of Unitarian Christian um, churches around in America. Um, I haven't been to a Unity Church yet, but um, I know there's one around here, and I'm kind of curious to see what it's like because I've looked into New Thought and like Christian Science and things like that and even though it's interesting I don't feel like it fits into what I feel is right and what I've experienced in life and my spirituality but at the same time I find them interesting so I don't know I might check them out but in the long run, um, I just want to explain a little few things. If y'all have any more questions, or maybe you feel like I didn't explain it well, whatever, um, just let me know. Uh, I can probably give you some more detailed information uh, and links and things like that. But I hope y'all have a great night. I'm going to drink my tea and go to bed. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.